What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the club selection Madrid. So these are not a club packs that you can literally buy the packs. I talked about this in my last video. If you want to see what could potentially be coming in club packs, then check out the last video that I did about the eFootball24, what we know. So I'll leave a link in the description. But anyway, on to this one today, we are taking a look at Real Madrid, right? So it's strange to see Madrid without a couple of their star men in this pack. Modric and Benzema, obviously for different reasons Modric because he's had a load of cards and then Benzema because he's left but there are some interesting cards in this pack even if there are a couple of disappointing uh, decisions made with these cards right so I mean Bellingham is down as an 85 overall central midfielder but he's only got 23 levels which is a bit of a pity right it's a bit of a pity because I think that if you are re releasing players now I think you're better off kind of wait for the standard cards unless they are ridiculously overpowered or potentially overpowered because of the contract situation right but starting with worst to best I would say that even if you take a look at the likes of this guy I mean Lucas Vasquez this guy's kind of uh he's kind of like look he's got a wavering form and he's got some pretty decent stats across the board but I just don't see it lads I don't see why they're releasing players like this if anyone if Look, they are for newcomers, and I get that. But what I'm saying is that, like, they, they don't really make the players um, massively overpowered because, obviously, the eFootball 2024 is going to be coming quite soon, right? But he's not a bad player. He does have 35 levels to go, which does make him a little bit more um, usable. Uh, I would like to see if he did have super sub. He would have been a nice little super sub. And this guy actually is quite decent as a tri in a 3-5-2 as a wing back. He's not bad at all, right? You can see that you can get his speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina all up into the 90s with the player form boost. And then you can decide whether you want to get defensive or else you want to, you know, make him a good crossing. Um, he does have early cross there, so you could make him a good crossing kind of player there if you wanted to... And like he's a fairly solid player I won't say anything really bad against him but I just feel like that if you are spinning for somebody like this right now there are better options on the standard GP list to save your coins right it's kind of the same for Brahim Diaz I mean this guy is 33 levels he's down as a creative playmaker he's got one touch pass double touch soul control as usual with his cards he has had multiple versions of cards obviously was at AC Milan last season and again he can kind of go very very high with the stats with the acceleration the balance and the offensive awareness dribbling is also good with 90 dribbling there and then the passing is quite decent as well you can also get shooting quite decent so he is a pretty decent uh central kind of attacking midfielder i do like this card i think it's a bit of a hidden gem um people probably won't use it that uh, that much um but uh, you could be surprised i mean he could surprise you if you are looking for a really nice attacking midfielder i think if you're not used to playing with smaller attacking midfielders um such as him or messi in that role that are you going to be taking on some shots these guys aren't for you you're better off kind of have just a pure passer with a lot of passing skills and he doesn't have low lofted pass as well which is a bit of a killer on this card um, I would also say the same for Jasselou, this guy, uh, as a centre forward. I mean, very, very slow. Obviously, he's a target man, um, which isn't the worst sometimes, but there's just way better target men than him here. And it's strange that he's got unwavering form as well. First time shot, one touch pass and heading. Not bad at all. Area superiority, not bad. But this is kind of a... This is kind of like the standard now if you're looking for even a, for a target man, you know, I mean, obviously you can go really high with the stats um, and that's all I would be doing with him is boosting up his aerial um, ability, boosting up his shooting and then probably the rest just to get that offensive awareness up as high as I possibly could um, to bring him on as an impact player. I wouldn't have any speed or stamina really apart from two into that, but 90 header, 85 finishing, 89, I'd actually go one back on this just to save a couple of points and, um, you know, maybe go one more into shooting. It's not a bad card lads and this is what i'm saying it's not a bad card at all it's just if you are starting off and you've only ever had this version of him it's a far superior card but i just feel like with the levels now and the players that are there at the moment there's a big gap between the players that you can actually use if you want to win games and players that you can use like you can use any player i mean i use collar up front and i get results with it but i am kind of shooting myself in the foot because i know if i had another striker up front i'm probably a goal a game better off but you know, I'm not playing to win all the time. So you can do that with these players. And I would also say the same for Kamavinga and David Alaba. David Alaba was definitely one of the best players. We'll throw in Carvajal there as well. Uh, Kamavinga is a decent player, right? He does have standard form, which is a bit of a pity. Um, but that would never really bother me too much. Uh, if you wanted to go that route with him, you can and get him in and, you know, make him part of the team. If you're in your pursuit of Bellingham and you don't get him. He is a fairly decent player as well. He's got 28 levels to go um, and not a bad player at all. Like I definitely rate him and I did play him a bit. But the problem with Kamavinga, in my opinion, is if you are playing him as a left back, 
Um, you're gonna obviously he's not going to be down as an orchestrator. You can see there, but the play style of the orchestrator, we will do a video on that because there seems to be a lot of confusion on that um, over the live stream that we did where we were talking about it and a lot of miscommunicated points. But we will cover that because this guy can play left back, but he's down as a play style orchestrator, right? But he can also play CMF and DMF. Um, and if you wanted to go that route with him, you get you get a very like good player i mean this is the thing right when the game first came out these guys would have been absolutely incredible and that's kind of what they're targeting uh that is kind of what they're targeting there it's the same with danny carvajal i mean look you can make him an extremely solid defensive right back um even though he's down as an offensive right back you can make him an absolute beast he's got good pretty much everything uh stat wise um and he's able to dribble he's able to pass he's able to do it all but the problem is is that unless you've been playing the game for the la only a week you will have better players than these in your club you know or you should have and if you don't there is no real point now in my opinion of spinning for these when eFootball 2024 is so close you know unless it's like a, a fantastic player like i do like uh, alaba alaba was one of my favorite players his standard version i'm going through these quite quickly lads his standard version only had 19 um levels and this version has 25 right now they did have a derby day that had 19 as well so i do like the fact that this possibly could be alaba's best ever card he's kind of fallen through the cracks uh david alaba for the last couple of months really i haven't seen that many people using him but he is unbelievable he can play so many different positions 25 levels to, to train up he's got pinpoint crossing one touch pass dip and shot interception sliding tackle unwavering form as his form there um he's a really really solid card and as ever when my when i'm training up players defensively i always like to have cards that are as high defensively as possible but also with that little bit of speed and acceleration i know that there is different people will say different things about speed and acceleration of the game we will go into that in, a, in another video as well don't worry about that um but yeah it's just going to be one of these things lads as you kind of um as you kind of like as you kind of take the i didn't know my webcam thing was on there as you take the take the players like into more and more games you'll start to see what you know makes him good like that is a very defensive build um of david alaba there if you wanted to go that route with him if you're going for a cb defensive awareness 98 but you've still got that speed and acceleration and all the top class center backs have got a bit of acceleration about them. They have it over 75. Tommy Asu, um, you know, uh, Alaba here has it as well. Marquinhos, you can have him that as well. So yeah, it is a fantastic card. I do definitely think that it's a brilliant, brilliant version of David Alaba. If you are going to go for him, I personally, I would probably go for him because he was part of my Division 1 uh, winning squad the first game. Um, but it's just a pity because the rest of the players in the pack you are probably going to try and be spinning for Bellingham. And even for Vinicius Jr., lads, I have Vinicius Jr. I've got multiple versions of him. This 20 uh, card or this 20 level pack is pretty much identical to the Derby Day one that they released, right? I'm going to show you here. So this is his card today, and this is the Derby Day pack that they released. It's an identical card. It genuinely is an identical card. So yeah, there's nothing new about this card at all if you have that version of him. Um, even his standard card is only better is only minus one in everything with 26 levels. This guy's got 20 levels. So I think it's a bit of a disappointing Vinicius Jr. card. If this was 25 levels, I would say, yeah, go for it because he is a demon. Um, he is fairly hard to use, I would say, compared to other wingers. But he is a beast, right? Because you can go so high on pretty much everything there and still have the speed and the stamina and also have the shooting. You know, I like wingers that are able to cut in and shoot. And he does have it and he has rising shot. He has double touch. She is everything that you could possibly want for just a pure uh, winger. Now, he is down as a Roman flank. He's not a prolific winger, so that's just something to keep in mind. But very solid left winger if you're looking for something there. And then the pick of the bunch, lads, is probably Bellingham. Now, I know a lot of people have asked me about Bellingham. Is he this? Is he that? This is actually a very strong Bellingham card, right? But the problem with it is that you will have to put a little bit of work into it depending on what position you want to play him in, right? So he does have unwavering form. He does have double touch and one touch pass with interception straight off the rip, which is huge, okay? Well, that is huge. Now, his his England card, right? His England card is pretty similar to this. Um, when you take a look at it, the England card actually has uh, one worse aggression and two worse defensive engagement but he has better acceleration and jump so i would say that this card is actually probably better um this one here is the same this uh i think it was young stars or something this one actually is a very 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 fine card let's 23 levels to go which is nice the england pack at 32 levels so that kind of puts that to
to bet as to which was the better card. But I do feel like this is a fairly decent card for Bellingham if you're playing him in an attacking role, right? If you are in a defensive role, sorry. If you are playing him, you look at the England card there, it has minus two defensive engagement. It's not going to make a huge difference to the card, but I do feel like that if you are looking for a defensive box-to-box midfielder, Bellingham, this option is really, really nice because you can go to 88 on the tackling and then also 88 on the aggression. Now, the big-time card that I have here of Bellingham is insane, right? But it's pretty much got the same stats that you will you have here with this one, except that it's got more levels. So that is something that you will have to take into consideration, um, is that you just won't have as many levels as you probably would have thought you would have. Um, but passing-wise, he's pretty decent. Dribbling, he's a bit, bit of a ball player as well. I would be, if I'm playing him defensively, I would literally just be boosting up... Um, pretty much everything defensively that you can. I wouldn't even, you know, want to be on the ball that much with him. Just get his speed, his acceleration, his stamina up and his tackling and his defense. And I will do a dedicated build on Bellingham as well. But that is pretty much it, lads. I mean, let me know what you guys think. I would say that Alaba is definitely worth spinning for. If you've got, you know, if you wanted to clear the agent or you've got a lot of coins and you're always looking for... um Alaba, you would say, yeah, I'll clear the agent and I will 100% get Alaba. But you only have three chances to get him. So, I mean, you could open your three spins of this and be like 300 down and get these three buys here. And while Brahim Diaz is pretty decent, it's not really worth taking that chance, in my opinion. Or else you could spin and get these three and it would be it would kind of be worth it. You know what I mean? Or even Danny Carvajal I'd throw in there. But um, I will do a dedicated training guide on Bellingham because I know a lot of people ask me about that and Alaba. Alaba is definitely one of the best center backs in the game, just the way that the game is designed and what works for in the game. Um, and I definitely will do a training guide into two of them. If there's anyone else you want me to take a look at, you know where I will be and uh, I'll keep it locked here and you guys can keep it locked here and we'll have some more videos up later. So let me know what you think and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.